this right here is a list of applications you may have. And these are the paths or the infrastructure that support that particular application. In this particular case, we'll go ahead and actually look at one of the web services that we currently have. We would have a user that is in our Berlin office that's trying to actually get to a data center in Tokyo. NetBrain allows us to be able to quickly go ahead and get that information at any point and be able to leverage that information, even though we've already had the path in the past, to be able to add that to the path browser. And once we add it to the path browser, be able to calculate it from scratch. Now, what's happening here? NetBrain is leveraging a path logic on the back end encountering different devices across uh, the network and from that path logic determining what the next hops are across the network itself. This is not a trace route. You will not be using CLI to access a device after device to be able to figure it out. You don't have to go to different, let's say, graphical user interface to understand what's going on within the network. NetBrain will actually show you what's actually configured on the network itself, and you would be able to leverage not only what's being configured on the network to see where the traffic flow goes through, but also be able to look at the interfaces that are on the network that you're traversing within your network at any point. Look at the full configuration. If you had any redundancy, NetBrain would also be able to provide that on the map. Why is this important? It's simply important because there's a lot of decisions you need to make at certain points really fast to be able to resolve issues. But NetBrain will take that and actually go ahead and automate that process for you. So whenever you come into any environment, all you have to do is start looking at where the issues are. For example, here you could actually see where you peer with your SD-WAN uh, at this particular point. You'd also be able to jump in and look at the VRFs within SD-WAN, see what you have for your Tokyo router, get to your devices here, and be able to see where you have your HA previously. If you have any policies configured on your firewall, NetBrain allows us to be able to see that. But unfortunately, when we get to the towards the end of our line here, we start realizing that we have an issue with one of our devices. For some reason, we are not able to go all the way to our web app, web server. What NetBrain allows us to be able to do is to go back go back in time and leverage what we have done in the past and what we have been able to see succeed in the past before. In this case, I'll quickly open this uh, list of historical data here. And I know at about 7 a.m. this morning, this path was successful. So what I would do is I would actually open a similar map on this particular path to see what has changed within this environment and leverage that to be able to start troubleshooting more effectively. In less than two minutes, I could tell you exactly where the path has changed. It seems like something may have changed within our device here. What I could do in this particular moment is I could actually take this device and decide to go ahead and retrieve live data from that particular device. NetBrain allows me to be able to pull information from it, be able to actually get all the information that we have configured on this device, pull it at that particular point, and compare it to what I had for my last uh, previous benchmark. All I have to do is run, get all this information. In a matter of seconds here, I'll be able to have it and do a quick comparison to see what has changed. So going back here, all I'll have to do is come in here and choose the ability to compare within NetBrain and just take my current baseline and compare it to my last live result. NetBrain allows me to do quickly, quickly compare these two. and I could start jumping into the results. So for example, we have a lot of show commands that had been previously issued, but all I wanted to go ahead and check is this particular device. If I look at this, uh, I could actually see where we have, we have a few changes here. I could jump into the configuration file. I could actually see what's going on in terms of changes. It doesn't seem like we have much here. I could actually go and look at the R table and see what has been added. Uh, what has been removed uh, from the app table at any point in time. I could scroll out a little bit further down to see if I have any other information. It seems like I don't have any more. I could actually see if I have any VRFs and anything has changed at any point in time. Basically, what NetBrain allows you to be able to do is not look at your network in terms of traffic flow only, but also look at what traffic flow is right now and what it previously was.